Okay. Listo. These are different models of the kidneys. Largest view, two, smallest view. So the most macroscopic view. Let's take a look. This outer region is called the cortex, covered by the renal capsule, which is the fibrous tunic, which then has adipose. Capsule. capsule made of fat, which is held in place by the renal fascia. The renal fascia, yes. Thank you. Okay, so we talked about the cortex, the inner part where you see the pyramid. That is the medulla. So we'll focus on in the pyramids. Each little thing you see here is a pyramid. In between them, you'll see columns. Columns. Can't see them very well. Columns. And into a pyramid. We'll get we'll get there later. So well let's do blood vessels. This is there should be a dorsal aorta here, which filters blood into the renal artery. And that goes into the segmental segmented artery, which goes into the interlobar artery, which will form the arcuate artery and all these little blood vessels here are the interlobular arteries and let's see these folds these little extensions you see that look like a funnel at the end these are the minor calyxes this big one right here is the major calyx and at the end of each pyramid you'll find a papilla which is where all the collecting ducts meet. Oh, or drain. Okay, then we'll move. Oh, wait, so this is the pel renal pelvis. Major calyx, renal pelvis. And ureter. Oh, yeah. Ureter. 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 Okay, then we'll go into a model of just one pyramid, a very simplified model. So here, these little white things, each is a Bowman's capsule. Inside a Bowman's capsule, you'd find a glomerulus. And after blood goes into the interlobular arteries, it's going to eventually go into the, this is the afferent. Afferent what? Afferent something? Mm, it just says it's an afferent. Afferent arterial. Arterial, yes. yeah. Afferent arterial. And then it's going to drain out into the, an efferent. Something. Arterial, yes. Arterial to arterial. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a fake capillary. Yes, a fake capillary. So, um, and then blood. In the glomerulus, um, everything besides the blood gets filtered out. And then, oh yeah, sorry, before that, right here, right, actually, I'll get into that later, sorry. So everything besides the blood filters out, and it enters these tubes. This curved one right here is the proximal convoluted tubule. So this is where all the nutrients and ions are balanced through the processes of diffusion, passive transport, active transport. So after it passes through the DCT, it will go into the loop of Henle. And then near the end, it will go into the distal convoluted tubule, also convoluted because it's all curved. And then it will all filter into the collecting duct. So you'll see little branches coming off the collecting duct, and each it, each represents a nephron. nephron. So this is a nephron. You'll see here. This is a nephron. So lots of nephrons connecting into, draining into one collecting duct. And there is more than one collecting duct in a pyramid. Yes. So at the end, this is the papilla. You'll see like little holes here. So. When it gets to the end, it'll drain out the urine, like micro droplet by micro droplet, which if you'll look in the bigger model, essentially this is where it drains, and it's going to enter the minor calyx to major calyx to the ureter and eventually to the urinary bladder. And then we'll talk about the glomerulus some more, or the Bowman's capsule. So we're going to look at this. Yes. 
So this is a magnified view of a Bowman's capsule. You'll see here, looks like a capsule, and you'll see it's made of simple squamous epithelial cells all around. Um, so this is an afferent arteriole, and this part that's a little bit sliced out, this represents a juxtaglomerular apparatus. Juga. A juga. Yes. And this is the glomerulus, all the blood vessels, and essentially this is where it dumps out all of its nutrients, everything besides blood. <laughs> and then it will exit out of the glomerulus through the efferent arterial, which is right here. Another juxtaglomerular apparatus here. Um, okay, so after all, it dumps all of its ions, nutrients, chemicals, it forms urine, which will eventually exit out of the proximal convoluting tubule, which is represented by that that all curves around, loop of Henle, eventually forming the distal convoluted tubule, which is represented by this green slimy monster. And I think that maybe it, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> and podocytes. Oh yes, yes. So there should be podocytes, this, this yellow covering, covering all of this, but it's only on half. So these these are cells that cover each of the, the, cap, the capillaries, the arterioles, and the glomerulus, and they form pedicles like feet that cover the arterioles and allow some of the nutrients to pass through its little slits like this. Um, it's allowed to do that because the capillaries are actually fenestrated capillaries, like little windows. So. It has spaces that you can see, they're pretty microscopic, that allow the passage of a lot of nutrients and ions to diffuse out. So, yes. Yes. Fun.